Okay, after you have sewn all of the gores together, you're gonna actually take and put the right sides together. This will go together really pretty easily and you're gonna be um, pinning so that you can sew. So as you can see right here, hopefully you, well, hopefully you can see, um, I'm just putting a pin in every, um, you know, couple of inches. You don't need a lot of pins, just uh, enough to make you feel comfortable and make you feel like when you're over at the sewing machine that your fabric's not going to shift. You might feel like this point where I'm, where I'm pinning into the gore to the rectangle is a little tricky. It's actually not. I'm gonna show you here. It just lines up very nicely as you come down and you just wanna make sure that both when you pin it and when you sew it, that your gore is, uh, or excuse me, your seam that had originally sewn the triangle to the rectangle together remains open. Um, this will actually help that that seam stay neat. So I'm just gonna pin it um, the rest of the way down and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. So this first seam is pinned the whole way down and hopefully you can see that. Um, and as you can see, I have at this point, I have two rectangles, rectangle on the left, a rectangle on the right and in between a gore, a triangle in between. That's the, how the entire dress is formed. I'm going to sew down the sides of the apron dress now that it's all pinned together. Again, I'm doing a little reverse at the beginning to just lock it in place. And I'm keeping it right here from on my machine. Hopefully you can see that is my half inch mark. Um, so I'm going to just keep it lined up right along that half inch mark as I go so that it maintains a half inch seam allowance. I have a tendency to pull my pins out when I'm sewing um, just to make sure that I don't accidentally break a needle, though on most sewing machines you could actually sew right over the, um, the pins and it would be fine. As I come to this is that point here, hopefully you can see that, uh, I'm just gonna fold over that um, seam allowance and kind of just start to, to go, it'll just hold it down um, and hold that seam open, which is what I want. Uh, and so right over that um, corner right there, it's not really very hard to do, it's just pretty easy. Once you do a few, you'll kind of understand what I mean. Okay, I've sewn all of the panels together. So I now have a rectangle, a triangle, a rectangle, a triangle, the whole way around. At this point, if you have chosen to purchase one of the linen kits, you're gonna to need to wash this um, fabric. The linen will shrink about 10%. I've taken that into account in your patterning, so no worries there. But you need to wash it now <clears throat> before you finish it and fit it um, to account for that shrinkage. So in order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just real close, right, right here along the edge, sew the whole way around the entire garment. This is going to help prevent any fraying or additional issues there when you throw this in the washing machine. Then you're going to throw it in the washing machine, wash it on hot water, <clears throat> and then dry it in your dryer. It will come out probably a wrinkled mess. That is the, the uh, downside of linen. You're going to need to then iron it flat and we'll get started. The one that I'm actually working with today is actually a wool. I happen to like wool for our garments. Um, just because I think it drapes nicer. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty thin light wool. Hopefully you can see how thin this is. You can actually hold it up to the light and actually almost see all the way through it. Um, so wools come in lots and lots of different weights and um, they don't have to be hot. So this is a, a real light thin wool, so I don't need to wash it. Wool, you do not wash. Linen, you'll wash. If it was, this was uh, linen, the next step is after you have pressed it and taken, or after you've taken it out of the washing machine and pressed it, we're gonna go on to the next step. Uh, in my particular case, I, it's actually wool, so I don't need to wash it. All I'm gonna do is the exact same thing I did with my other seams, only I'm now gonna pin this last side and slow, sew this last side so that I will now have a giant tube. <laughs> 